Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. We're looking at um, 84 confirmed facts in the book of Acts. Did you know reading the book of Acts in the Bible, in this book here, if you read to the history of the early church by the writer Luke on the gospel uh, on the book of Acts, you'll find 84 confirmed historical facts. Now this is not by a historian who is on the side of Christians. This is a a, a classicist historian of eminence, and will. Um, and uh, this is historian Colin Hermer excuse me in his book in his in his book the the book of acts in the setting of his Hellenistic history Herma Colin J okay uh, this uh, scholar uh, is a, a a great eminent scholar and he writes some of the facts are as follows the natural crossing between uh, crossing between correctly named ports Acts chapter 13 verse 4 and 5 the proper port in Perga along the direct destination of a ship crossing from Cyprus in chapter 1313 13. the proper location of Lyconia chapter 14 6 the unusual but correct de declension, uh, declension of the name Lystria for uh, Acts 14 6 the correct language spoken in Lystria Lysonia Acts 14 11 two gods known to be so associated Juice and Hermes 14.12 the proper port Italia which returned travellers would use Acts 14.25 the correct order of approach to Derb and then Lystria from Sicilia gates Acts 16.1 to 15.41 the proper form and name of Troags uh, Acts 16.8 and the place of the conspicuous sailor landmark Sontres in Acts 12.14 so um, that's just ten of the facts and we'll read some more of the facts um, before we do we're going to listen to Dr Craig Keener professor of New Testament at Osbury Theological Seminary a world authority on the book of Acts and this is what he has to say about the book there are a minority of scholars who treat Acts as a novel but most scholars don't treat it that way for one thing in ancient novels were normally romances, a feature that is notoriously lacking in the Book of Acts. Um, there were a, a minority of historical novels in antiquity, but never to my knowledge, and, and you know, I've read enough that I can say certainly it would be, have to be extremely rarely, if there are any, of these involved characters within living memory. So not, not somebody from the very recent past, as we have in the case of the Book of Acts. But another reason that we can't see it as a novel is that there are just too many external correspondences with what we know from ancient history. This is what fits a work of history, not, not a novel. Uh, and, and of course, one could give very many of these, but, but just for a handful. Um, Felix was the Roman governor at just the right time that you would expect from, from the Book of Acts. And although Felix was married to three different princesses at different times, the princess to whom he's married in the Book of Acts, Drusilla, was the princess to whom he was actually married at the time that the book was written. Festus and Herod Agrippa I both act in character with what we know of them. Um, Agrippa II, <coughs> who's, who's mentioned in Acts 25 and 26, is there with his sister Bernice. Now Bernice only stayed with Agrippa during certain periods of time and the period of time that Acts gets is exactly the right period. Now these are not the kinds of things a novelist would bother to have researched from what we... So there we are, we'll look at some more facts of the book of Acts um, in the next video, I hope you enjoyed that.